Hi everyone, welcome back to Paracord Planet. In today's video, we're going to be featuring the top 5 bracelet weaves. But instead of going back to previous videos or featuring the weave on individual bracelets, I thought we'd have a little bit more fun with it today. So in this video, we're going to be doing the top 5 bracelet weave bracelet. The one bracelet to rule them all. So we have been getting some comments about cord length and cord usage and did just want to let you know why we do what we do here. So we start off with a baseline of 10 feet for our 550 paracord because that's the least amount of cord that we sell in our store, uh, 10, 25, 50, and 100 feet. So we always like to start out with 10 feet so that everybody can enjoy the craft. Now, if you want a more specific number, what you can do is on any weave or any bracelet that we make here, make about an inch of the weave itself, unravel it, and then measure out how much cord you've used, and then multiply that by the length that you're using on your jig. So in my case, it would be eight and a half. That's about the size of my wrist. So we would do one inch of our weave, unravel it, measure that out, and multiply it by eight and a half. And if you are looking for your wrist size, one easy way to find that is to take some extra scrap of paracord, wrap it around your wrist, and you do want to give yourself a little bit of extra space on the bracelet itself. About two fingers uh, are usually a good indication of the slack, and you want to do that because whenever you do make a bracelet, it makes it a little bit thicker, so you want to have a little bit of extra space to account for that thickness. Just make sure you know where your finger is, Take the end of that scrap and this length right here, you can put it right next to your jig. And in my case, this is how we get the eight and a half inches I need for my wrist. So the first weave we're gonna start off with is the Sanctified Weave, and I love this weave so much. It is a very cool weave to do, and it looks great once the bracelet is done. And do just wanna let you know that these are not gonna be in any particular order. It's just the top five go-to weaves for a bracelet. We're also doing this one first because it's the only one that takes four strands to weave, while the others only take two. So as you can see, we did take our lancing needle and we put it around our neon green and we put our neon green right through the cow hitch at the top of our buckle. So our first step, we're going to take our neon green, we're going to take the left working strand, we're going to go under the first two inner strands, we're going to go up through the middle and bring it off to the right. Now we don't want to pull all the way, we want to create a little bit of a loop on the left side of our working area. We're going to take the right working strand and we're going to do the exact same thing. We want to make sure that it goes underneath the cord that we just brought over from the left to the right. We're going to go under the first two, over the next two, make it tight, and we do want to make a loop on the right side as well. Our next step, we're going to take the left working strand of our silver gray, we're going to bring it underneath everything, and we want to bring it through the middle of our strands. And we're going to bring it back through the left loop, and we want to bring it in between the neon green and the cord itself. So we don't want to, we don't want to go to the right of our own cord, we want to go to the left of it. And for our final step, we're going to take our right working strand and we're going to do the exact same thing except on the right side. We're going to bring it underneath everything, through the middle of our core, and then back through the right loop that we had made with the neon green and in between the neon green and itself. One of the tips and tricks here is to make sure that once you do these two final steps, make sure that the cords are laying nice next to each other if you can see that right there. Now, we're going to cinch everything together. And right now, we are back to step one. We're going to do three or four passes and then move on to our next weave. Next up, we do have 
the Cobra Weave, or the Solomon Bar, or the Square Knot, whatever you would like to call it, this is the go-to knot for bracelet making in the paracord crafting world. This knot is very simple to do, and you can do it over and over again. It's a wonderful knot to practice. How we make it is, we're going to take our cord, we're going to put it behind our inner strands. We're going to bring the right side over to the left. We're going to take the left working strand, we're going to go under everything and behind our four cords, and we're going to bring that cord through the loop that we had made with the right strand. Now the one great thing about this knot is it's slidable. So if you do, let's say, make it down here and you tighten it up a little bit, you can take it and just slide it all the way up to where you would like it to go. So here we have our very first weave and to complete the weave, on the side that we have our little bit of a bump, we're going to make and start out with our loop on the side. We're gonna take the right strand, we're gonna go over top of it, we're going to go underneath everything and we're going to bring it through the loop that we had made on the left side. And as you tighten it, you'll see that that bump has moved from the left side to the right side. We'll go through it one more time, and one tip on remembering which way that you make the loop is you're always gonna make the loop on the side with the bump. So right now we have the bump on our right side, so we're gonna take our right working strand, we're going to make that little bit of a loop going across the top four, we're gonna take the left working strand, we're going over top of it, underneath everything, and through the loop we had made on the right side this time. Bring it through, tighten it down, and you'll see that that knot has switched sides. So we went from the right to the left side. So now, you make your loop on the left side, where the knot is, over, under everything, through the knot, and there you have the Cobra Weave. We're gonna do one or two more passes and we'll come back when we're ready for our next weave. For our next weave, we're going to be doing the fishtail. Now once you do practice the Cobra Weave and you feel very confident getting that done, the fishtail is the logical next step as I love the way that this weave looks and again, not too complicated to practice anytime you'd like to. So we're gonna take our golden rod, we're going to put it behind our four inner strands. We're gonna take the left working strand, we're going to go over the first two, we're gonna go through the middle, and we're going to come across and under the right two inner strands. Of something that looks like that. With our right working strand, we wanna do the same thing. We wanna go over the first two, through the middle, and under the left two. So now as you pull on your cord, you can push up on this knot as well. This one is slidable. You're gonna see that we're right back to where we started and we're gonna do the exact same thing again. We're gonna bring the left working strand over top of the first two, through the middle, and under the right two. We're going to take that right working strand and do the same thing, over the first two, through the middle, under the left two. And as you push up, you will see that the knot is going to become very tight around your inner strands. Once you do practice this weave a little bit, you can start to just throw the two over top of each other at the same time and just bring the cords through. Of course, since we have this on a jig, it does make it a little bit more difficult, but you could do something like that. And it should cut down on a little bit of time. So again, we're gonna do a couple more passes of our fishtail and we'll come back for number four. Next weave we're going to be making is the Trilobite weave, and this is one of my personal favorite weaves. I love the way that this comes out and looks as a bracelet, and there's literally only one thing you have to remember as you are doing it, and we'll talk about it whenever we get to that step. Our first step, we're going to take our right working strand, we're going to go over top of the very first inner core, we're going to go under the next two, and back out on top of the left most inner core. 
With our left working strand, here's the part I was talking about where you do have to pay attention, we're going to do the opposite of what we did on the right side. So we're going to go under the first one, we're going to go over top of the next two, and then make sure you take your left working strand and you cross the right working strand here, make that little bit of an X, and we're gonna come back under the right most strand. So you should be making a little bit of an X pattern going through the middle of your inner core. I know it doesn't look like it yet, but that is correct. And right here, we have come right back to the beginning of our pattern. So we're gonna take our right working strand, we're going to go over top, under two, bring it back and back over the top of the left strand. With our left working strand, we're gonna do the exact same thing where we're going underneath the leftmost cord. We're gonna bring it through, over top of the next two, cross our right working strand, bring it under, and pull. And that is going to be the pattern that you continue. So we'll do a couple of the weaves and we'll come back to our final weave that we'll be doing for this bracelet. For our final weave here, we are gonna be doing the shark jawbone, and I thought it would be kind of fun to do it in two different colors. So we do have our electric blue ready to go, and we did take a scrap from our sanctified weave that we did at the very beginning of the video, and some of our neon green, we're going to melt both of these ends and we're going to attach them together. Now that we have our two ends melted together, we are going to put it behind right in the middle. And we're gonna start off with our right working strand, in this case, the electric blue. We're gonna take our right working strand, we're going to go over top of the first two inner cores, and we're going to go down through the middle. And we're gonna bring it over to the left. And we do just wanna make sure that we have a little bit of a loop on the outside of our working strand. The next step, we're going to take the left working strand, in this case, the neon green. We're going to go over top of everything. We're going to come down through the middle of our cores. And then we're going to take that same working strand and go back through the loop that we had made with our blue. For our next step, we're gonna do the exact same thing, only on the left side this time. So we're going to take our Electric blue, we're going to go over top of the first two, through the middle, down through the second, keeping that little loop to end our electric blue. Now with our neon green, we're going to go over top of everything, come down through the middle, over top of the first two, down through the middle, and then bring it back through the loop that we had made with our electric blue. As you can see, it is going to give a little bit of a bend to our neon green, and we are gonna continue the same pattern all the way down to finish off our bracelet, again, switching sides as we go along. So our next step, we're gonna take our right working strand, over top, through the middle, underneath, keep a little loop. Our left working strand, in this case, our neon green, we're going to go down through the middle and bring that back through the loop that we had made with our electric blue. We're gonna continue this pattern and we're gonna come back to the video whenever we get the bracelet completed. So there we just completed our fifth weave on our top five bracelet weave bracelet. All that's left is to take it off the jig, we're gonna cut the excess paracord and we're gonna burn it down. Here we have our completed top five bracelet weave bracelet featuring the Sanctified, the Cobra, or the Solomon Bar, or the Square Knot, whichever you want to call it, our Fishtail, our Trilobite, and our Shark Jawbone. So while we will admit that this might not be the most practical bracelet, I do have to be honest with you. I thought that this was going to feel way weirder than it does on my wrist. 
I like how it feels on here. It's very thin, uh, it's flexible, and all of the weaves just kind of make it sit very nice on your wrist. This is also a wonderful tool to have in your back pocket, so if you are somebody who likes to sell their paracord bracelets, you could just kind of take a picture of this and show off all the different knots that you can make on any bracelet for anybody. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video, and if it did help you, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. Now, whether you agree with our top five or you think another weave should have made the cut, we'd love to hear what you think down in the comments below. Have yourself a great rest of the day today. We'll see you on the next video.